Hi, my name is Alex Coach with Gus and Cho Associates. Qualifying for a mortgage and then going through the process. What's that all about? So the qualifying process is <clears throat> to get on a phone call with me. I'll ask you how much you make. You'll tell me, I'll say well, how much your monthly debt's per month, and you'll tell me. I'll say what's your credit score, and you'll tell me, and I'll say how, what, how bad are your lates. And let's say you have no lates. Let's say you make 10 grand a month. Let's say your credit cards and car payment bills all together are 1,000. I can do some quick math in my head that you're probably gonna be good for like a three or $4,000 mortgage because you can go up to 50% debt to income is a safe number. So let's say you're well underneath that 50% debt to income ratio. Then I'm, I pre-qualified you. Now we're gonna say, okay, let's get more invasive. You want a pre-approval because you want to buy a house. I want to run your credit. I want to see your income docs. I want to make sure everything is what you said it is. So then I'll do that. And once I run your credit, see your income docs, and everything's what you said it is, I can write you a pre-approval letter. Then you go out and buy a house with a realtor. Then you go out shopping. You might get into a bidding war right now because it's bananas out there. But let's say you find it, you settle on a house at a price and you, you get the house. Hopefully I have most of your documentation, but if not, I'll make sure I'll have the W-2s, pay stubs, bank statements, ID, purchase contract, any other little ex explanations I might have to have. If you're bankruptcy, I need bankruptcy docs. So whatever docs I need, hopefully I have most of them. But when I get the purchase contract, I'll take all the docs I've asked from you and I'll submit to my processing team. My processing team will disclose you. You'll have to e-sign a bunch of documents, so we'll click a button. Once you're e-sign, that means we can order the appraisal and then send you to underwriting. Once it goes to underwriting, underwriters going to go through your file and double check that I have said what I said is on the application. I can verify with backed up with documents and then they're going to ask for further verifications like from your employer. Make sure your employer confirms that that's how you paid and we got that kind of backup. <coughs> We're going to get insurance. They're going to condition you for maybe updated pay stubs, more explanations. Who knows what the underwriters are going to ask you for, but they're going to give us a list of conditions and we're going to get it to them. While, while we get those conditions, hopefully the appraisal is done, title's back, your insurance is back. Once we have the appraisal, title, insurance, and all the conditions the underwriter asked you for, we submit it for a clear to close. Yeah, not often do you, is it one touch file, but if it comes back out, maybe a couple more conditions. Satisfy those conditions, wrap it all up, then we get a clear to close, then you go to a closing table. Once you go to the closing table and you sign those papers, it's your house and you can't turn back. Anytime during that process you're e-signing, you can walk away at any time. I have a lot of problems with customers that are afraid to e-sign things that's not right. It's never right. The documents are never going to be right until the very end after everything's been verified. And so you're safe to keep signing those documents up until the day of the closing. Once you sign those closing docs, the day of closing, it's your house. You can't turn back. And that's basically how you qualify someone in the process of mortgage. If you have any questions, call Call me 630-915-7550. Thank you very much. Please subscribe.